Hello everybody, today I am joining you from outside one of the craziest unofficial Disney pin stores. This thing is absolutely insane. I'm excited to show it to you today. It is called Pin HQ by Go Pin Pro. And uh, it's this store and this store over here. We're gonna step in in just a second. Just to kind of give you an idea of where we are located. There is Magic Kingdom down there, and we are that blue dot up there, 429 and 50. So this is north of all of the Disney properties. This is my second time into this store. I came by uh, earlier to check it out, and it is incredible. You're gonna find everything to do with trading pins. The official pins that are sold at Disney, like all around the parks and at Disney Springs, those are really only the current pins. And here we'll find all sorts of secondhand, older, and collectible pins. Personally, I'm on the hunt for some Figaro pins. Figaro is the cat in Pinocchio, and he was one of my, like, I don't, as a child, I absolutely adored Figaro. And Figaro really doesn't have that many trading pins. Every time I'm at a trading pin store, I'm looking for a Figaro pin, and I typically don't find one. So my hope is to find one, maybe even two Figaro pins and take them home with me today. Step inside, take a look around. The front doors, they have a massive pinwheel section and then pins all over the walls, stations in the center of the floor here. And I mean, it's just so many thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pins. So before we look at everything else, let's get hunting a little bit, shall we? Check this out. Here's a pin for the year of a million dreams. I never experienced that part of Disney World. That's so interesting to see a pin from them. I have never heard of eyes and ears. Look at that. It's like a two year, is that a conduct, what, is that a, what Mickey is that? What is going on there? There's, a, here's another one. Eyes and ears of Walt Disney World. The Vacation Kingdom of the Worlds? I'm so confused, what are those for? <laughs> Pause the video now if you want to look through this. I could not find a Figaro anywhere on this board. What's funny is there's more. There's, there's so so much more to look through. So I think I'm gonna move on. I really like finding these like really retro looking pins throughout. Ones that look like they've, they've they're old, like really really old. I saw one over here. Look at this one. Pin trading at Disneyland annual pass holder pin. That is so cool. So they do have these um, pins on the floor, you know, you, they're pretty low to the ground. So they actually offer stools, look at that. So you can grab a stool and uh, sit on the ground and look through the pins. On top of all of the pins, they also have box, they have so many ways to carry your pins around like check these out this little pin folio there's a pack of five for fifteen dollars and these are like perfectly designed for holding your pins so there are the pins that i was looking at without like any pin uh, backs too but they also have lots of other things and some of these are um, displays like consignment displays so as I look through them, some of them like fantastic pins for you is stocking this display and they're sold on consignment. So you, you get a good variety of pins and options. Look at that sword and the stone pin. That is so cool. Look at this best in show. What? So you get lots of variety because there's lots of different you know, pin collectors displaying the pins for sale here. Oh my gosh, I very rarely see flubber pins. This is a $35 pin. That is so interesting. There's a lot of, I'm like looking at the expensive pins. 
let's see it. Look at Stitch. Stitch's action adventure. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at Chip and Dale down there. Little puzzle pieces. That is really cool. These are $25 pens. And look how, look, you can just tell just the colors. They just seem so old. There are some that are really funny. Like, look at this one. Psst, wanna trade? That's a $100 pen right there. And then look at these figment pens. Imagination. <laughs> and then with these little plans. <laughs> and then check this out. A Splash Mountain pen. This reminds me of like a uh, Hot Wheels uh, car. But it's the ride vehicle for Splash Mountain. That is $250. Honestly, I could see why. I've, that's such a crazy pen. A Halcyon passenger pen for $70. They also have a few lounge flies and other collectibles up here. Like, check out these stitches. Those are so unique. I love that. Look. Right there. That one's three out of 12. And then they have an Elvis stitch backpack too, which is <laughs> really, really cool looking. What else they got? Wow. Look at that. The electric light parade and a Bambi over there. This is also not the only area. I'm kind of in one side of the store. So we're gonna head, look, whole other section to the store as well. Holy cow, there's so much more to look at. I like looking at these pins that don't have, oh, oh my gosh. That is a Figaro pin. Wild side. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's like dressed up like a tiger on one side. These are $15 pins. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I found my first pin that I'm getting. But check, like, like holding on to it. I need to, I need to uh, have a, a cart or something. But let's take a look. I wonder if there's any others. Oh my gosh. Some of these, like, I can't tell if they... <laughs> this one moves. Look at his mouth. Get faster. Get, fa get, fa get faster. Get faster. Get faster. That is so funny. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> look at Gaston. Gaston is dreamy. That's like dreamy Gaston. That's why... I'm, Imagine those clouds are a Horizons pin. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for Figaro, Figaro pins. I have found another. Look at him, oh my gosh. Figaro's hanging out in the blankets. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look how cute he looks, a little face. There's some crazy, like, this Simba looks so weary, so like metallic. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at this Luke. <laughs> this section is so aesthetic. There's a gradient <laughs> as they go through from one side to the other. Ah, oh, I can't pick up a pin. I feel like I'd break the, the pattern. I did not know that that character had a trading pin from Toy Story. That's crazy. They have some uh, <laughs> inside of this like little area. But check these out. Look, these are name tags. That one says Mickey. Look at those. Oh my gosh. And then I really like the <laughs> Timon and Pumbaa with Sorcerer Mickey hats on. That is so funny to me. Look at, <laughs> I've never seen those before. Man, there's just so many pens. It never ends. I almost Missed him. Look at him, little fellow. Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to get this case open to get that little guy. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's like three dimensional. It's a little Figaro inside of the goldfish. <laughs> inside of the aquarium. He's so adorable. Look at him. That one's probably outside of my price range, but. That is, what a unique pin. Okay, moving from where I was, over on that side of the store, back to the original side, because this big pinwheel uh, is available. There's someone here earlier, I didn't want to get in the way. I found a little bucket to keep my pins in. Buy five, get one free, that's good to know. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this massive pinwheel with thousands more pins. I'm just gonna kind of try to show off the ones that stick out. Oh! Is that who I think that is? Is that who I think that is? How much is he? 10 bucks. $10. There we go. Look at him. Okay, perfect. Well, I'll show off anything I find that's interesting. <laughs> there are so many unique pins that like, what on earth? Some of these I'm like, are they even Disney pins? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Also, these are some inexpensive ones being only $8. Um, but you can find some like really good ones. Like look at that little Pluto right there. That is just so adorable. You got some Mickeys. Um, and then I saw another one. Look at this little Goofy. Look how tiny he is. He's just hanging out there. I mean, there's quite a lot. Look at this, 2000, Disney World. Year 2000, I was there. I was there when that pen was sold at some point that year. It's also interesting to see like series that like I never, I never, I never saw like the, the making the characters into vehicles vert like <laughs> to say Lilo and Stitch car like Lilo car like Dale car like these are so so interesting. Look at this, a, a cast blast from 2003, April 15th to the, the happiest event on earth. Some of these are just so so specific. It's really fun to look through them. I mean, this is just like, even if I'm not interested in purchasing them, just seeing some of the other pins, and like, I feel like I'm not, I'm not going fast enough. I'm gonna be here for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Looking through these pins. <laughs> Another very specific, but hilarious pin. <laughs> these are the gargoyles from Hunchback, <laughs> dressed up in their, uh, their finery for um, a good distraction. Gosh, this is amazing. So I have been chatting with everyone in here. Every staff member I have talked to has been so friendly and so helpful. So keep that in mind that if you ever need to ask a question, feel free to check this out. They have so many upcoming events. They have pin trading days. They have game nights. Look at this pin trading event on March 10th the anniversary pin trading event. So that is just cool. This is like whole, this feels, you know, so community focused. This is really, really cool. So they have some upcoming events uh, soon. And finally, you know, I feel like I, I need to take a look at all of the crazy options they have if you want to help organize your collection. Like, take a look. This is a little zipper that you could add your pins on there. You have multiple zip pockets. This is just a little small version, but they even have the big versions. Look at that, pin folio. I mean, all of the things you would need in order to really show off and get into pin trading, all here. You can kind of just take a look at the prices here, these are these are my little Figaro pins. I can't let those go. But you can see so many different colors, different options, different sizes. One thing that I saw that was really cool was, was um, these boards over here by the door. They're not really, you know, to zip up and travel. They have a nice rope at the top and to display, you know, a large size, uh, you know, it was mentioned that this might be used on a cruise ship, that sort of thing. There's just so much in here. Also, look at these little guys. A little a hanger that's made out of foam. Stick a pin through there too. There's just a lot. There is just so much to see in here. To say I've been blown away by this store would be like an understatement. Okay, I'm happy, got my pins. Staff, once again, so friendly, so fun. Uh, I chatted with them for like 10 minutes, just talking about the store and uh, everything that's in here. So if, don't be, <laughs> don't be worried. Staff is great. I'm gonna check out and uh, get out of here. Okay, we're gonna check out as I check out. Take a look at this. They have little 
pin crowbars. <laughs> pin poppers. I like to think of them as a crowbar. <laughs> Gotta get it off the pin board. That is so fun. Carla pointed out, look at that little Figaro pin right there. Totally missed him. Slacking. Yeah, I was slacking. Okay, yeah, I want to get that too. Okay. That looks awesome. Okay, I was just asked, do I want to see something cool when it comes to pins? And obviously the answer is yes. So what are you showing me okay, here? So these are some exclusive um, cast yeah. member or oh my gosh. Walt Disney Imagineering, otherwise known as WDI pins. These especially are called the profile pins. Those top pins. ones? Yeah. Wow, so where would someone purchase this? You'd have to be a cast member, you'd have to like... A lot of them are cast members. Those were like, I think, released at D23. Oh yeah, the, the D23 like exclusive. 250. Only 250 yeah, of that pin exist. So once they go into someone's collection, they're pretty much saying <laughs> yes, that, yes. Which drives the price up? Yes. Okay. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. All right. All right. What do you think Maleficent goes for? Okay. So Maleficent. Where is Maleficent? The third one oh, on the, the top. There we go. Okay, Maleficent. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna say. Okay. There's only 250 of them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say like three hundred dollars. All right, are you ready? Yes, okay. yes, I'm ready. Let's take a look. Okay, what did you say? What? Three hundred dollars. Two thousand eight hundred dollars. Wow, wow. So how many like <laughs> legitimate Maleficent pins do you think are on the market? Like very few. Ooh. Like any Maleficent. Yes, pin? or this one? No, this one. Like this. How many people are know. selling this? Adrian, what do you think? Not very many. Not many. Not many. Uh, these guys end up in people's collections That's, now, so they it's don't. Like they don't, they don't let them go. Because this yeah. is called their grail. <laughs> yeah, and that's their grail. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of these people, they got it for 25 bucks. It ended up in their collection. Oh, yeah, now. let's like, see. Let's see. What's the original price on here? Is it on this one? Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, true. Okay. What's the return so, on investment? Okay, if if you go. had got it, what if you'd snagged it. Mulan. Okay, so now that I know. Price. Market price. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's a big pen. I'm going to say, like, $30? 30 30 18? Nope, 1,000. Oh, 1,000, yes. But, and, but it was original, was, originally was 18. 18.95. Wow. Now, it's, it was 1, worth a lot more. Yeah. Wow. And I can't believe that the collection you have, I mean. So these are Avengers. Oh yes, mm -hmm. this is consignment, mm -hmm. this, this one, mm -hmm. yes. That is so, and so cool. And another way people obtain these, is if they don't have the eighteen hundred dollars or twenty eight hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they do bulk trading. Uh, so people come in with like a ton of like little pins. Yes. And they'll just I see. Trade, trade. That's another so you could still trade for that pin if you have enough of the smaller yeah. pin. Or they do half trade, half cash. Kind of right, thing. right. Yeah. That is so so, so, so many cool. Fun I agree. I agree. And honestly, just looking at the completeness of the collection too is just so satisfying. <laughs> that is very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Th thank welcome. you. Thank you. It's just interesting to see. Yeah. I like. I like, like knowing the top. I like. I do. I like knowing like where does the it peak? Aerial one. I think is about four thousand. Four thousand for yeah, aerial. And that one's gone. Oh, it's gone. And I was like, I don't even see aerial. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's theater, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Man. Okay, just checked out, and because I got five pins, I get to choose a free mystery pin. So, okay, my lucky number is 14. So we gotta try lucky number 14. Ooh, it's a mystery mystery pin. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna have to move here. There we go. Okay, what is this? I love mystery mystery pins. It adds so much excitement. Oh, he's a tall one. Oh my gosh, it's one of the sirens. Look at that. Or the muses, one of the muses. Her Hercules muses. Look at that. Well, I'm glad that I got five pins. Just gonna say that right now. And there are my Figaro pins. And I got a free pin backer also for getting five. So getting five was definitely, definitely the call. And I wanna open this guy up for you because this is adorable. This is the best last pin to get. And there he is, little Figaro inside 
<laughs> the fish little name tag. Isn't that awesome? And this is perfect too, because look, all the information you need is on the back. That was really, really fun. If you are someone who is into pins at all and you're in the area and you want something that is more you know, community and obviously something that isn't currently in rotation at a Disney store, you want something used, highly, highly, highly recommend this store because uh, I love I love the feel. Like I've been to other places where you can get secondhand pins, but it's typically like a thrift store kind of feel. And uh, I love I love this little store, and I love that they gave me the little uh, pin back. My pins ain't moving; they're stuck on there, which is which is really really nice. So so happy with the day. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventure here at the, the uh, pin store. I had just so, 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 so much fun and I hope to see you guys in, uh, in a future video. Until then, bye.